Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes he posts on his channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly against online ranked opponents. All right, so guys, I actually want to show you um, some money plays that I'm going to use in the red zone. Uh, 10 yards or in uh, close to the red zone where you got a compact set. It's very difficult to score in the red zone uh, just because all the defenders are, are all, uh, all over the field. Uh, so I got a couple different plays I like to use uh, in the red zone. In particular, the most the play that I really prefer for is the spot wheel uh, but you probably want to go ahead and call motion Y screen earlier in your series preferably maybe in a, a second a second down situation or maybe a third down situation uh, especially if your opponent's running a lot of cover too uh, this actually could set this play up for you um, if you use it so I want to go ahead and show you first the motion uh, motion Y screen and then the play that I primarily use in the red zone which is going to be the spot wheel now we're going to go against random defenses, so I don't know what type of plays this person is going to use. Um, you know, a lot of people in the red zone usually will will do coverage. Uh, they're going to use a lot of zone coverage, primarily because that's going to be the reads. Now this is not a play that I'm going to go to inside the red zone. This is a play that I actually might show to my opponent, especially in a first down or second down situation, so I can set up the real true money play in this red zone. But it's good to go ahead and show this to your opponent because then they have to go ahead and defend uh, the swing route by the running back, and then it's going to open up the backside. Now. With this particular play, you want to look to the seam first and see if you can go ahead and hit the, the wide receiver. That's going to be the first place we're going to go go, to, go ahead and look at. Um, and if you can, go ahead and take it right there just to drop pass by Garcon, but uh, that's all right. Now, where this play gets interesting is going to be the running back route underneath. And I like to do a little pass lead uh, right away and just try to turn it up into the end zone. So it just came up a little bit short there. That's not necessarily where I want to do this. Now, I probably want to use this play earlier on in the series, maybe in a second down situation. Maybe I get inside the 20-yard line. I can go ahead and, and throw this play against my opponent to keep him guessing. Uh, because uh, this is actually a nice little play uh, that you can, you can go ahead and... and uh, get him to think about actually going ahead and defending against it. Uh, also the backside, the tight end, in a cover two situation, the tight end will get uh, pretty good uh, pretty good uh, uh, coverage against cover two if there's only uh, two defenders out there. But the problem with this particular play is you have to, you have to make your decisions very, very quick or uh, you can get yourself in some serious trouble. So that's why I don't like it. Now, you can use this. Uh, but I wouldn't re recommend as a money play in the end zone, but you might want to show this play to your opponent ahead of time so you can set up the screen uh, so he has to stop the next play, which is really the good money play in the red zone. So uh, you'll see in the gameplay, spot wheel, I've been using this play a lot uh, in the red zone and I've been getting a lot of conversions with it. Uh, if, if I don't get a conversion with this because my wide receiver catch, didn't catch the ball or was an overthrown. But for the most part, this actually will go ahead and give me um, a, a pretty much a guaranteed touchdown every time. Now, uh, what I like to do is the following adjustments. Now, you can see I'm five yards out. You can actually do this uh, at the uh, for a two-point conversion. I like to take Garcon, my inside receiver, and actually put him on a slant route that gives a little bit more depth, so it gives me another read on the backside, and then take Jackson and put him on a double slant. With the way this play, play works is really the red route by Jackson is going to be the route that's actually going to give me the touchdown. I've got the auto motion. And what's going to happen is basically you're going to get the, the wide receiver is going to come down with the ball right there. So if you got a big body wide receiver, uh, Jackson's short. He's only like 5'10 uh, in football terms. But uh, what's going to happen is he's going to be able to come down with that ball. And you can see I'm five yards out. So this is a good play to go ahead and use against your opponent. Uh, if uh, if he's <clears throat> if you need to get the ball into the end zone, uh, you just have all that action going on, and what happens is the combination of these routes will just clear that zone out for you, giving you an easy completion or easy touchdown in the end zone. So running all random defenses and throwing the ball to the same area of the field primarily, um, and right there was just a bad pass, and that's the only time that I actually am not getting completions is uh, if it's a bad pass by the quarterback, but I am doing a high pass lead. Uh, but as you can see right there, just easy easy to go ahead and get a touchdown. So you can actually move this back, this ball back. Um, you know, so if it's a first and goal situation in your 10 yard line, uh, you can go ahead and run this play. Uh, and you should be able to go ahead and get this play into the end zone with this uh, with this route concept. So you can see right there, right at about 10 yard line, uh, right at about 10 uh, 10 yards, eight yards is where 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 the catch uh, and fall is actually going to come into uh, a red zone situation. So you probably want to do this um, and goal line and eight. That's an ideal situation. Now also you've got this route right here, which is good because you want to have something that you can check down to if your opponent starts picking up in your tendency. So if you do this a couple times. 
into the red zone, he's going to try to go ahead and take away Jackson. So I like having the depth uh, of a um, uh, route like this, but you have to you have to take in consideration this backside slant by Garcon is is basically a little bit shallower than the backside by Jackson. So you can probably get away with that uh, when you're about maybe six yards or five yards out of the backside. So it's really really good against two point conversion situations where you need a two point conversion or you're right there um, on the. Um, uh, the two yard line where you can have a lot of your red zone situations but as you can see right here I'm, I'm picking up a good nine yards just coming up a little bit short but uh, you know as long as you're doing this maybe six yards uh, six yards from the goal line maybe seven yards ago from the goal line you're gonna be able to get that ball in the end zone all the time and that red route by Jackson is gonna be uh, money the entire time so I hope you guys like this tip you can see me using this play to convert two-point conversions convert uh, convert touchdowns in the red zone um, and a, even at this depth at seven Seven, eight yards out uh, is where I'm actually converting touchdowns with this particular play and, and, and the, the motion by the running back it distracts people you've also got um, a, a big play opportunity with the tight end uh, going over the middle so if you were to go ahead and leave the uh, the uh, uh, drag route you can actually go ahead and hit your opponent over the middle with the tight end too if you wanted to go ahead and make an, uh, another progression uh, up top. So that's just another way you can go ahead and attack your opponent. So to my subscribers, I hope you guys appreciate uh, this tip. Uh, you can actually use this online and you can see me using this online scoring lots of points with it. So thanks a lot for your support and until next time.